channel. In this video, we will solve year 2022 ME set 1 question number 48. And this question is from the topic engineering mathematics. The question is consider two vectors A 5i cap plus 7j cap plus 2k cap, vector B 3i cap minus j cap plus 6k cap. The magnitude of component of vector A orthogonal to B in the plane containing the vector A and B is so let's see a couple of concepts that we need to know in order to solve this question we need to know how to decompose a vector into its orthogonal components so here in this figure we can see we have a vector f and this vector f is broken down into its two components one along this axis so one along this axis let's say this is x is x and along this axis the component of vector f is called f cosine theta when vector f makes angle theta with this axis and the orthogonal component to it let's say this is the y axis has a component of vector f called the f sine theta component so knowing this let's also see what a dot product of two vector is so we have this vector a and a vector b and they have some angle theta between them then the dot product of a and b written like this so this is the dot product it's also called as the scalar product so the scalar product between a and b a dot b is given by the magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine of the angle between these two vectors and the magnitude here is written as that this so let's say this a vector has three components a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap then the magnitude of a will be given by the under root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square so this is nothing but the length of this vector a now coming to the solution to this question Let's write down the vector A. So that is 5i cap plus 7j cap plus 2k cap and vector B is 3i cap minus j cap plus 6k cap. Now we are supposed to calculate the magnitude of component of A orthogonal to B. So let's say this is our vector b and let's say this is our vector a and a makes some angle theta with b then we can again decompose a into its two orthogonal components one along a one along b which we'll call as a cosine theta and one orthogonal to B which we will call as A sine theta so that is what we need to calculate the component perpendicular to B so let's just write it down here we need to to find A sine theta magnitude of this okay so first thing is we need to find this angle theta for that let's do the dot product between a and b so a dot b we have already seen in the last slide that a dot b will just be equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cosine of theta so Let's calculate all these terms. So A dot B will be given by 5i plus 7j plus 2k cap dotted with 3i minus j plus 6k cap. And this will be equal to 15 minus 7 
plus 12 which will be simply 20 similarly magnitude of a will just be given by under the root of 5 square plus 7 square plus 2 square and it will come out as 7 under root 78 and also magnitude of b will be 3 square plus 1 square plus 6 square that will be equal to under the root of 46. Now knowing all this we can calculate cosine of theta which will be nothing but a dot b over magnitude of a magnitude of b. So that is 20 over root 78 times root 46. Now once we know cos theta we can simply calculate sin theta from here which will be equal to 1 minus cos square of theta and when we know cos and sin theta we can just find this value as magnitude of a times sin of theta so again the magnitude of a is under root 78 and sin theta is nothing but 1 minus 20 over root 78 times root 46 the whole square so upon solving this we will find that the final answer is 8.32 so that is the answer to this problem okay we solve this question and the final answer is 8.32 and in order to know more about dot product you can refer to this nptl course video on dot product of euclidean vectors by professor aditya sharma of isar gopal